Looks Mr. Lockhart here, and that was a fail. Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and in this video, what I'd like to do is to show you how to take your storyboard profile and turn it into a Photoshop file. So let's go with this one right here. And what I want to do before we show you the steps is to identify the lines. So notice I've got lines right here as a layer, and then I've got the, the coloring right there, or the shading. Okay, so what I need to do is to go find this scene. So what I'll do to save everything out is to go to the file menu. I'm going to go to export. And then what I want to do is export to a layout image. Okay. I'll choose a location to save this in. So if you click on the folder, you can go and choose wherever you want. For instance, a desktop. Click select. I'm going to give this a name. So I'm going to call this uh, BG-Drawing. Uh, number one. Um, I want to make sure that this is a Photoshop or PSD file. So I'll make sure I select that in this drop down menu. And then what I need to do is I need to find the scene, which is for this image right here. So that'll be 1AOA. So let's just go and I can either do the selected scene or if I click this button to select, I can choose any one of these scenes that will show up. Here's something that's really weird about this. If you have a scene with multiple drawings inside, it will only go and save the first one. So make sure your scenes are all separated. So that way, if you try to do this technique, you'll be able to get each one of those drawings. Okay, so I want this one, which is 1AOA. So 1AOA, I'm going to click OK. Now it's going to, I'm telling it to do that one. I'm going to press export. And um, here it is. So I think I call this layout drawing one. Oh, actually, here it is, the 1AOA. So I'm going to double-click this one, and let's open it up in Photoshop, and we should be good. All right, so it looks like it just opened it up. Uh, notice it gave me a layer for the camera. It gave me a layer for my line work, and it also gave me a layer for my coloring or my shading. Okay, so what I would do is do a file save as and do what I need to do with this. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. And let's.